Good afternoon and welcome to Lit, the first in a series of blog posts. I'm Reference Librarian Alexa Roy from the New Canon Library, and I will be mixing up for you your favorite cocktails from some of the best books, television series, and movies. Today, in honor of AMC's television hit series Mad Men just ending, we will be making a vodka gimlet. Vodka Gimlet is Betty Draper's drink of choice throughout the show. Traditionally, it is made with gin, but today we'll be going with Betty's favorite, vodka. A Gimlet can be served straight up or on the rocks. On the rocks is simple. It'll be the same exact recipe except poured over ice. Today we'll be doing it straight up just the way Mrs. Draper drinks it on the show. The ingredients you will need are one lime, some vodka, and ice. Bar tools used include a lime squeezer, a martini shaker, as well as a martini glass, a cutting board, and also a knife for cutting fruit. Now it's time for the best part, which is making the drink. First thing you're going to want to do is fill the shaker, fill it all the way to the top with ice. The next thing that you want to do is you're going to pour two ounces of vodka over the ice into the shaker. Now there's a trick to doing two ounces of vodka. For every one ounce, it's three seconds of pouring the vodka. Therefore, what you're going to want to do is pour the vodka into the shaker for six seconds. So we'll do it this way and then I'll tell you another way to do it. So do a light pour of one, two, three, four, five, six. If you don't trust yourself counting, feel free to take a shot glass and fill it up twice and pour it in. Next, what you're going to want to do is take your lime. You're going to cut it in half. Be very careful. Put your lime with the fruit side down into your squeezer and squeeze half of that lime into the drink in the martini shaker. And you can put that off to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover the shaker. And we're going to give it a few good shakes. You don't need to shake it for very long. You don't want to water it down the drink anyway. Now you can pour it right into your martini glass. And using your six count vodka pour, you will have a perfect pour every single time. Now we're not done yet because of course you're going to want to garnish it. So take the other half of your line and I would recommend just cutting off a slice. So it kind of looks like this, a little, little wheel from your line. Cut a slice right into the wheel and then rest it on the edge of your glass, just like so. And there you have it, a vodka gimlet. Enjoy. Don't forget to make sure you place a hold on the final season of Mad Men with us, and be sure to enjoy your vodka gimlet while watching. Thank you for joining me.